is the fear that your YouTube channel will never actually grow the main thing holding it back? Because I'm about to show you exactly what happens when you lose that fear and how I took this channel from struggling to post a video to picking up thousands of new subscribers a day. In fact, it grew so fast, YouTube made it crater on the rise on the Explore page. And what's crazy is it only took five videos in a new strategy to do this. So this is Liv, the owner of the channel I blew up. She'd been neglecting it for a long time because she was worried that the amount of work you have to put into YouTube would never actually pay off. So she stopped posting and decided to vote all of her time to another platform instead. Oh yeah, Liz, my girlfriend. I don't tend to touch my clients like that. Well, not all of them. But then things took a scary turn for Liv because Instagram, the platform she chose to build her following on, decided it wanted to become TikTok, changed its rules and crashed her reach, meaning her usual posts became almost invisible. And when your content is marketing for your business, invisible posts could mean invisible income. Concerned by her future, Liv came to me and said the words I'd been wanting to hear since the day I met her. I think I want to grow my YouTube channel. Good. I just, I just don't know if it's going to work or if it's going to be worth all the effort. <sighs> Glad you trust me. Okay, <laughs> well I'll tell you what, when your channel hits 50,000 subscribers, if. when, if. we'll book a trip to Iceland. Does that make it seem worth the effort? Okay, deal. Pinky swear? No givesies, backsies. <laughs> now what Liv didn't know is I'd been researching her niche in preparation for this moment for quite a while, so it meant we could get going straight away. Okay, so this is my plan to get Liv's channel growing. That's literally it. No keywords, no tags, no descriptions, no fancy tools. And we're gonna try and release a new video every week. No, every, every week. We have to create bin sessions. So once we've got a nice bank, then we can cut down how often we post. Okay. So in order to work out what people are interested in, you research your niche to learn what gets views. And then you simply focus on making more of that, in theory. Benny, we have a problem. I've been researching Liv's niche, and what I've found is everything that's been successful on other people's channels is telling me we should not follow in their footsteps. Basically, I think if we copy what they're doing, you're never gonna grow. But I have another solution. Of course, Good. a better solution. And we're excited, Mr. Boobaloo, aren't we? After hearing my plan, Liv was now even more concerned this could all be a giant waste of time because going against what everyone else was doing sounded like a much riskier option. Let me show you what Liv was going through at this stage because if she hadn't have eventually fixed this, nothing I could have suggested would have worked. And I think this is gonna be something you struggle with a lot too. So this glass of water is all of your time and your energy. This one here is running your business, or it might be a job or maybe even your school. This one's Liv's Instagram, her marketing, her email list. This one's her family and fitness and her dog Benny. And then this one is YouTube. And you see the line on this cup? That's the amount of time and energy you need to fill up to to actually grow a YouTube channel. So in order to stand any chance of doing that, it means something has to get poured out of these other cups instead. And when you know all of these things here help to make money for your business or they're things you really enjoy in life, removing time from them and then putting them into something new, you have no idea what achieve those things is terrifying. This is vodka. Anyway. Back to the story. Armed with our new renegade plan, it was time to start making the content. And what was awesome was Liv had been watching my videos on writing and scripting and the process had totally clicked with her. So she started to fly through the scripts and knocked out four of the blighters fast. Liv then flew into production, filmed and edited her videos and completed the first four. And when you have so many videos ready to post and get ahead, your stress cup empties. And to me, that makes you a much better creator too. Liv, is a volcano erupting in Iceland? Yeah. So this plan I came up with at the beginning that simply said, make interesting videos, actually had another page to it. And all that said was, make the best thumbnails you can, but also make them before you do anything else. And I even wrote on the next page, never break this rule. Maybe my plan wasn't quite clear enough because this happened. Liv, why are you currently struggling? Because I haven't made my thumbnail yet. And what's that done? I made it a lot harder to make my thumbnail. And who's right and who's wrong? I'm Right. It really will allow you to come up with more clickable packaging because doing these things first means you're not limited by the content of your intro. Knowing the importance of thumbnails meant I really had to spur Liv on, but not only that, I needed this to work for my own credibility too. So I jumped back in to help with her design and finally we landed on our winning image and hit post. Have you ever wondered what happens if you don't post a video for weeks and weeks? Well, you're about to find out because Liv hadn't posted videos for months and she was worried YouTube might punish her as a result of all of the inactivity. And of course, it did. 
not. The first video sticking to the one rule we had absolutely flew in terms of her own channel and it destroyed her previous personal best. In fact, so did the second, the third, the fourth and the fifth and a couple of her videos all sticking to my golden rule ended up getting 1,000 views an hour and these view numbers went on for weeks. With the videos then working as a team, the subscribers then shot up from a handful a day to 1,000 plus and four of her new videos hit six figure view numbers in a very short time. To give you some context, her previous personal best was 37,000 views on a video, but it had taken two years to get there. Liv's channel picked up over 21,000 subscribers in a month, a 3,000% increase, and then this happened. I'm creating you on the rise. <laughs> so if you don't know what create on the rise is, it's actually quite a big deal. YouTube pick one channel to showcase for their fast growth and content on the explore page out of the 37 million that exists. And more importantly, this happened. Liv, I've booked us Thailand. You mean Iceland? Iceland. <laughs> Yay! So what was it I discovered so early on that caused this growth? And how can you do the same? First, I need to make a confession. So Liv has over 300,000 followers on Instagram. And now you know that, you might think, well, of course she grew like crazy. She just shared her videos there. Here is the data and look. No external boost of traffic because I asked her not to share her YouTube videos anywhere. Seriously. Because to me, you want to build a community of viewers who are fans of YouTube, the platform. Because that way, when you release a video, they are more likely to be on YouTube to see it, more likely to click it, watch it, and help it get pushed to more people like them, which grows your channel. When you share an external link, it goes down as an external view. And look, there's no click-through rate data there. YouTube can't push it to more people off of the platform. But also, people don't go on Facebook or Instagram to watch YouTube videos. They go to fight, argue, and give away the furniture they can't be bothered to dispose of themselves. So the amount of views you... <laughs> <laughs> so the amount of views you get, even from sharing your content to a large following off the platform, is just not worth the effort. So what was it that caused Liv's channel to grow so fast? Well, to start Liv's success was down to a lot of hard work and persistence. But apart from that, let's start with the first of the three main catalysts. This was the thing I spotted at the very start of the video, and it could be the light bulb moment for you. So in Liv's niche, everyone was doing the same type of video. They were basically just long lessons. And the chances of them getting traction and growing a channel are very, very slim because Liv Literally everyone was making the same thing over and over again. So competition for this type of content is astronomical and almost a game of potluck. So in my research, I decided to ignore her niche and look wider at what worked for channels in her more general industry because there were tons of fast growing channels to take inspiration from. And that then gave us a list of great ideas to try which we turned into a master plan. But really what happened was we found a gap and a way to differentiate and that is just so important in a highly competitive niche. In fact, if you're thinking to yourself, well, I'm doing the same thing as everyone else and I'm not growing, maybe you just discovered why. But that's not all. Let's rewind the video back to this moment. We have to create bin sessions. So once we've got a nice bank of content, then we can cut down how often we post. And look at these comments. Our plan to achieve this worked, but how you do that is a story for another day. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on binge fest. The second thing we did, I just can't express the importance of enough now. In fact, the first discovery just wouldn't have worked without this. And it's this, look at that homepage, look at the suggested views bar. Every day, more and more people flood to YouTube and every day other channels get better and better. So it's only ever gonna get harder to stand out here and get clicks. And that is why Liv spent a crazy amount of time on her thumbnails. The two of us sat on the sofa in the evening, struggled to come up with new concepts, because I know that if you don't make something that sticks out fast and intrigues people, making your video is a complete waste of time. In fact, I'd go so far to say that some of her thumbnails took longer to make than her actual video, but that is how important they are. And then the third thing is a massive reason her channel is now breaking records with every video she posts, but it's actually what causes most channels to fail, and it's this. So this is Liv's current YouTube card. And can you see that the time and energy is right up to the YouTube growth line? And this is because Liv finally stopped doing the thing holding nearly every YouTuber back. She stuck to one source of information and one single simple plan. She stopped worrying that it might not work and then trusted that if she allowed herself to put in the time and energy that is actually required to get a result, her efforts would pay off. And guess what? With her YouTube cup filled exactly to this line, it did. The thing is, you now know three things you just have to do to blow up a channel. But that doesn't answer this question. How did Liv's last video get over 100,000 views in the first three days, when videos from her own strategy would struggle to get 1,000 in the same time period? Well, there's actually a process you can follow to do the same. So if you really want to get your community flying back fast, then make sure you watch this video here where I tried to blow up a video as fast as I could 
and it worked. Oh, one more thing. If you'd like to learn more about how I did this to Liv's channel, then check out the link in the description. There's a few spaces left to put your own channel through the same program.